Today, we're doing something that I've never done before, kind of crazy, which is building a Zoomed Repti-Bree's enclosure. So I currently have Dragon Strand enclosures. This is the extra large 24 by 24 by 48 inch. You can see pretty big. This is the recommended size for a veiled uh, panther, Jackson's male or female chameleon. And I was lucky enough to have Pangea Reptile send me one of them to try out. You can always use code Neptune10 to get 10% off your order or shop through my affiliate link to support me and all my lizard babies. But today I'm gonna be walking you guys through step-by-step -step how to set up this screen enclosure. This is probably the number one most popular community enclosure because of the size, price point, and it's a fully screen enclosure. So it allows for tons of airflow. If you live somewhere that's drier or you have a harder time keeping the humidity, then you can always wrap the sides of this with a shower curtain or a background or something like that to try and help hold in the humidity. But this is an excellent size, an excellent price point. If you use my discount, it helps you out a little bit there too. So without further ado, let's get into building this. So the Repti Breeze enclosure comes in multiple sizes, um, small, medium, large, extra large. I think this is the extra large. If you're looking at, you know, getting a smaller enclosure and then getting a bigger one later, like I would just skip the adult size to begin with. Just get this size, that way you only have to buy it once and it, it'll be everything that your Camilla needs. So then they don't have to get readjusted to a new enclosure as well, which can be stressful. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe if we go upside down. You know, and if I was smart, I would have like looked up directions beforehand. But you know, I'm trying to give you guys an authentic experience. Get it out of the box. You know the like SpongeBob guy? That's like 12 hours later. That's gonna be me trying to get this out of here. Maybe I should have gone from the other side. Oh, well that was way easier. Apparently open it from the bottom. Ha ha, oh, there we go. All right, instructions. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I've been procrastinating building this and this is exactly why. Congratulations on your purchase. Blah, blah, blah. Tools required, a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you have everything. Don't over tighten. Make sure you do it in the correct order. That all makes sense. I mean, can't be that hard. People do these all the time. All right. Let's unwrap the... Ugh. Okay, this is the front maybe? It's funny, I can tell when people have the Red Bee Breeze because they have the little letters on there. That looks like probably the top. We've got the floor panel. If you're wanting to um, create some drainage, then you can just like drill holes in this bottom here. If this video seems a little all over the place, that's because it is. I've also never done this before. So usually when I make videos with you guys, I'm like talking about things I already know about <laughs> or have already done, but we are in this together. If you're wanting some like super slick tutorial, I don't know if this is the right video for you, but I figured you guys might want to come along the journey. This is just a lot of different size screws. This looks like the bottom or the top. We'll find out soon enough. I don't know which one's the top panel. Okay, so it wants you to like configure it. Uh, okay, attach top panel to back panel. Doesn't even tell you which ones are the top or back panel. Okay, I'm gonna guess the top panel. This is bottom. It has this little like, you guys can see this. A little diagram here so i'm just going to arrange it in this order so then i can just kind of follow along there so we will do that a few moments later 
Okay, so I'm trying to make this little figure. So I think this is what I have so far. So you've got the letter, let's see, come over here. Letter B there, C there, and I think that's the back and left side. Then we've got this outline piece is definitely the bottom. We've got the lower door there, and then this has the letter A at the top. I mean, it's written sideways, but I believe that's the upper door, and then you've got the top, which is gonna be the square screen, and then C there. So then I put this down. You've got B, C, A, D, little rectangle hole, <laughs> just metal frame, and then the screen top. And then it should all fold into each other in theory. So that's what I've deducted <laughs> so far. And then of course you have your pack of screws of multiple sizes, and then you have your PVC bottom there. Okay, so quick update. We have now laid out all the screen panels and what I think is the correct order. We determine if it is the correct order. I've also taken all the screws and put them in this bowl. The directions say the four short screws are for attaching the hinges and then the big long screws are for putting all the panels together. I also grabbed my drill and screwdriver so now we can get crack a lacking. So it says attach the top panel to the back panel, which, not back, this should be the back. Back panel. Um, I'm gonna assume the one that doesn't have any hinges on it is the back panel. So it has a letter C at the top. We're gonna attach that to what it says is the top. So I'm gonna assume, whoa, C goes with C. Yeah. Is that right? Yep, that looks like a hole. All right, well, here goes nothing, guys. I am not a handy person at all. I really wish I was, but Ikea furniture is a stretch for me. So stuff like this is like not my favorite, is severely outside my comfort zone. Place the back panel on its long end. Locate the edges label C on both the blah, blah, blah. Attach the top to the back using two long screws. Okay, and then this is C. Okay, two screws. Here we go. Yep, not my favorite thing to do. The inside is much more fun to build. Screws here. I, I'm like nervous to use my screwdriver because one, I'm not very good at it. And two, it says don't over tighten. So people are gonna watch me do this and be like, she's terrible at this. You know, this is not a construction video. This is a or construction channel. This is a chameleon channel. This is where we're at now. In theory, the back panel and top panel C and C are connected. Okay. Next. Attach the bottom panel to back panel. This guy is the bottom panel. This says K. So this is K. Then letters on the outside. Oh my God. Okay, so the bottom has the letter K. We have a K there, so we're gonna attach K to K with the logos on the outside. Align the letters K, screw the panels together using long screws. Make sure, oh wait, hold on. Panel label stickers on the bottom panel should face inside. <laughs> inside. Almost tricked me, but did it. Okay. I have to imagine breeders who do this, like do these in like 10 minutes each. I don't even wanna know how long I've been doing this. Okay, what's next? 
Attach right side panel. Match letters D, F, and J on the right side panel to the corresponding letters on the top, back, and bottom. Use long screws. Okay. On the right side. So I'm gonna assume this is going to be. Haha. <laughs> Excuse me, chair. Okay, we've got the letter D. And then I assume this is F. Yeah, F and L. There we go. You know, this isn't half bad. Would definitely be faster with my drill, but I don't trust myself, honestly. To not like puncture through the screen. Ah! I poked a hole. See? This is why we don't use the drill. Luckily, it's on the back panel. Let's see if I missed any other screws. <laughs> Quick status update. We have gotten through steps one, two, and three. Now we're on step four. Insert lower door hinge pin, attach left side panel. Cut. So this is the right side. Insert lower door hinge pin. This is the lower door hinge pin and attach Left side. Lower door hinge pin. There we go. Okay. That is step four. So you just basically have to hook the little hinge here on the right side, then the left side, then balance the door here, add all the screws. Shut the bottom door and rotate latches on either side to unlock, attach the upper main door, turn the assembly on the back. Ah, there goes the hinge door. Okay, hold on. There you go. Let's attach the latches. <laughs> okay. Why not to do that? Okay. That's on there. Then attach main door. Turn the assembly on its back, set the upper panel in place by matching labels A, H, E. Use four screws to attach the hinges to the right side. Okay, then we have the tiny hinge, got it. Hinge screws. Okay, match the letters. H. Hinges then. Okay, so the hinges flip out and then we need the four little screws. 
<laughs> flipping the hooks to help it stay up. And then I'm just attaching the hinges with the tinier screws, as it says, those are the hinge screws. And the logo is facing out with A at the top, E on the right and H on the left. So that all makes sense to me. Protect the screen. Don't puncture it. Ah, oh, this one's so... Okay, so we will flip this up. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, so exciting. Okay, let's try the door. So exciting. Okay. And then the floor panel comes in at an angle. And then you just slide her in. There we go. Okay. So, like I said, if you want to have drainage, maybe I didn't say it. Hold, just, just drill holes in the PVC bottom, and then you can put it on something that has holes in it and then the water will drain through the bottom. Also, make sure you remove your labels. So many people I know, <laughs> I see their enclosures and they have all these still on there. So you're more than welcome to take those off. But this is just assembling the screen enclosure. So hindsight's 2020. What I would have done differently, um, just be careful of puncturing the screen because I did that twice. Uh, <laughs> luckily they're on the side here. One teeny one at the top here, and then I had another one um, on the side, but not too bad, all things considered. Um, I definitely preferred using the hand screw versus an electric drill, but that's just because I'd be afraid to like tighten it too much or puncture a hole. And then just making sure you get the panel set up correctly because it's not obvious which panels are which. And then keep the logos on the outside. And then, yeah, I think that's, the gist of it, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I do have this exact enclosure linked on my Amazon store, and of course you can get it off Pangea. Tons of other places sell it. Just make sure you're getting the XL two by two by four. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Feel free to subscribe to know I post a new video, and I will be making some videos on how to decorate the inside. How do you attach branches in a screen enclosure? How do you add plants to UVB? All that good stuff we'll be covering. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on social media at Neptune the Chameleon, you know, post content over there too. So yeah, there we go. I think there's gonna be a lot of bloopers <laughs> with, with this video. Ow. That was my pinky toe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, everyone calm down. <laughs>